time. We are. Are you so enjoying? Are. How about you? You've been here for just a little bit so far, I've been right? Been here for like um, probably seven hours. Okay. After now I flew in. Do you have any uh, bucket list New York items you want to do while you're here? I don't know that I have the time because okay. we're right in the middle of shooting episode eight. So I, I literally stepped off set, came, went to the airport, flight was delayed. Of course. Read episode eleven and then landed. And, and conventions are great places to be when you have a jetpack. <laughs> Because you're literally like, is that what you've wrapped up? Does she have green ears? Yes. Am I sleeping? And is this real? And it is. And you're all very real in this table. So, so what can you tease about containment? What can I tease about? Okay, so I just, yeah, I just read episode 11 and the words that I shared with my cast were, that's extraordinarily beautiful. And I think it's, it's a good place to start because we're dealing with a horrific virus. We're dealing with lives being torn apart and relationships being strained and struggle going on. But the job that the writers are doing, and certainly I, I don't watch my stuff back, but I sort of sneak on set when other people are working and see what's going on, and it's shot like a film. Uh, and the work that these guys are doing is. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I think it's delightful, um, and so it's it's quite interesting. You know, often art does that, doesn't it? Theatre does that. It sort of takes a um, a subject that we perhaps shouldn't, we perhaps wouldn't see as beauty, and sometimes delivers that. And that's that's probably what I would tease about it. It, it may seem like a gross kind of situation, but actually. Um, there is just a lot of kind of intricate beauty. What can you tell us specifically about your character? Um, I would say he is. He's kind of the, the sort of. He's the starting point for it, really. You sort of you start with him. And um, he has these kind of two opposing forces. He's trying to do right by his job and by his friends and his family. And, He's trying to fight this virus, and at the same time, he's having questions pulled with him from society. I guess a bit like lots of the police force at the moment in America, uh, with kind of police and public relations being as frail as they are, just trying to toe the line with authority, but also trying to appease the public. And um, and Lex has that, and I think, I hope. What, they, what they're getting is that kind of inner turmoil and these kind of two forces kind of cascading towards each other. Um, uh, and I would say that's, you know, I'm right in the middle of filming eight, so I'm right in that process where those two things are about to meet. So that's what I would say about that. Uh, who do you interact with the most? Mm. I'm one of the lucky ones, actually. I get to interact with quite a few. I have some lovely stuff with Claudia Black. I have some lovely stuff with Chris Wood. Um, I have gorgeous moments with Christina Moses, who plays opposite me. Who um, it's really funny. We, so we, we, Chris Wood, Christina, Kristin, we all we all met in our audition. We all auditioned together. And so we got on and then had this, I had this chemistry read with Christina, which was just like, wow, I like had goosebumps. She's incredible. And then we have this scene in the pilot, yeah, no, incredible. Great. And then we're split up. <laughs> and like, so we have a, we sort of get little teases of phone calls every now and again. So I'm really, 